Hey guys, just wanted to show you a little kit I've put together, uh, as well as the pouch that I had made here locally. I'm essentially calling this my woods backup kit, or just a belt kit that I take with me when I go on a truck through the woods, and I don't necessarily have my full rucksack with me, or um, maybe I do, but I just, I'm going to end up putting it down, camping for an extended period of time, and I'll be going out and maybe leaving my pack in place every once in a while and want to make sure I'm, I'm covered for a few other areas or a few vital areas when I'm uh, away from my main set of gear. So I had this uh, nice leather pouch made. Uh, I know a guy locally who does some leather work and uh, did a great job on it for me. It's really thick stock. Really nice. Uh, when he first made it he had uh, essentially the sides were coming out and he had a a thick welt in between and uh, essentially I after discussing it with him I cut the welt out folded it over and uh, it's a little more low profile now it used to be about probably three-quarters of an inch longer on each side uh, which made it look a little awkward but uh, really happy with it now just awesome little pouch so I'll crack it open here Holds nice and secure. Little uh, deer antler toggle there, and some leather cordage. Did a nice job on uh, giving me a place to, to run it through. Just uh, really good work. I'm I'm pleased with this. He's done some sheaths for me in the in the past, flashlight sheaths and stuff like that. And uh, I've got another pouch that I EDC with me that I'll, I'll show you here shortly. Uh, but as you can see, uh, we made it for two Altoids tins. I have one of them marked fire. And one of them's got some tools in it. And then I have just a heavy duty freezer Ziploc style bag. Uh, consider that a, a container of sorts. If I really needed to carry some water, I could. Not really a cover element, but uh, but at least uh, a container. So uh, let's jump in, though. Here's my again my fire kit, and in here I've got my light my fire Swedish fire steel. This is the army version. Comes with its own striker. This has been rotated around different parts of my kit over the years, uh, over a couple of years now. Uh, I have a nice thick piece of uh, fatwood, catches fire very nicely, and I've also processed that same piece of fatwood into some good little tinder bottles. So I've got shaved fatwood, which I've used just the back spine of a, of a knife to make those shavings. Plus a little larger shavings in there as well. There's the odd larger shaving. And some dry lint. So a couple little elements of, uh, of uh, combustion here. Ways to get some, some fire going. Um, I've packaged them separately. Just uh, these little pouches are actually what my uh, eyelets for my Kydex kits came in. Um, I just figured I'd package them separately so that first of all they say drier longer just in case and uh, kind of I'm sure I could start more than two fires with what's here um, but I'm, it's at least separated out into two fire worth of rations as far as uh, that gear goes is my thought anyway so that's the fire kit and I have this one now this is a work in progress I'm pretty much scavenging from old parts that I've upgraded, uh, including my wife's flashlight and stuff. So um, in here I've got some cordage, oh, some paracord. This is 550 paracord. It's just a funky uh, pattern, but uh, it is normal paracord. I've got my Gerber dime in here. Uh, so I've got a cutting tool. Uh, there's scissors on it, tweezers in it. it it's a good little all-around multi-tool. Of course, on my belt I always carry my larger multi-tool 
whether it be my Leatherman um, rebar or my Gerber MP600. So I should have those with me um, at all times when I'm in the woods, but you never know. So I'll have a backup there. I'm considering uh, getting an Opinel 6 to put in here, just a, a folder. And if you're not familiar with the Opinel folders, I've got one here in my EDC kit. Let me grab it for you real quick. Now this is an Avanel 7, so this won't fit in an Altoids tin. It's a little big, but uh, just awesome little knives. This one's carbon steel. Cool little collar locking mechanism. Extremely lightweight. Um, razor sharp. Just uh, I'm considering picking up uh, one size down from this because it should fit in an Altoids tin. But there's some other benefits to having the multi-tool as well, so we'll see. Uh, it's, a, it's a work in progress. Um, I've got a little piece of foam here with a good amount of fishing line and a couple of fish hooks. Of course, I could use that uh, piece of foam as a as a floater as well when I'm if I'm having to fish to uh, survive. A um, little flashlight. Of course, I always carry a large or a Fenix PD35 or a uh, Nightcore P10 larger. Uh, a thousand lumen style flashlight with me when I'm actually out in the woods, but you never know when you might need something a uh, backup. You know, this is just a tiny little little light, but uh, <laughs> it works. It's got uh, I think it's only 13, 13 lumens or something like that. This is the uh, Streamlight Nano, but it easily fits in one of these little Altoid tin kits. Uh, I'm thinking on replacing this with the uh, one I actually just got for my wife just in black I got her uh, if you may have seen the video on the, it's a is it the E10 I believe Phoenix E10 uh, or E12 but uh, essentially a single AAA battery flashlight is what I'm thinking on replacing it with this one here is a bit big this is the T10 um, it would fit in there but it would take up most of the space in the kit so this is the, the Thrunite T10, which is a bit big. This is a double A version, so I might also go with the Thrunite triple A version, which would be, you know, a fair bit smaller and should be able to sit sideways in here. So, yeah, and a couple of, uh, just a, a few band-aids. You never know. Cut yourself open. Likely, if it's, if it's life-threatening, you're going to need a lot more than just that, but uh, it's something in there, as well as I have my kids out in the woods with me. They get a scratch or a cut, and you know they'll freak out until they can't see it anymore. So, uh, having having some band-aids on you is pretty handy as well. So, anyway, guys, so this is just my little backup belt kit. Um, it's not complete; it's a work in progress. I'll continue to upgrade it, and uh, I'll get you guys some update videos out as I rotate things out of it and rotate new things in. As uh, as always, I'm, I've got new stuff coming in pretty frequently, and after use, deciding whether I like them or not, uh, they'll either work their way into my daily rotation or not. So, anyway, thanks for liking, guys, or thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and hit that like button, uh, subscribe, and we'll keep some more videos coming to you. Thanks.